Hey guys. All right. So welcome back to part two of the sublimation oven video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing the tumblers. So I have two 20 ounce skinny tumblers and then I have the wine tumblers. So we're going to do, I'm going to work on these three and see how they turn out. This is my first time. I've never done it before. So hopefully this doesn't turn out bad. <laughs> hopefully it goes good. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go into creative studio that comes with the sawgrass sublimation printer and i'm going to show you guys the little templates that i have picked out for these three tumblers all right so let's go on to creative studio okay guys so we are on creative studios so this is the little design studio for sawgrass whenever you have the sawgrass printer this is what you'll be working with um but you can always print up to that printer from anywhere I think I've done it before. But anyways, so over here you have your little options. Start creating home creations, galleries, and favorites. Creations is whatever you've done before and you've saved it, which I have already done all these and saved it. But we're going to start from the beginning. So I can show you guys how I set up the image for the tumblers. Um, so it'll bring you to this screen. And then you're just going to click on drinkware because that's what we're going to be working with. And I believe it's on page three. So we're going to click on page three. There we go. For whatever reason, when you click on the next page, it doesn't start to from the beginning. So you have to scroll up. But this will work. Anyway, so here's this one. And then this is what it'll bring you to. Then you're going to click on galleries because you're going to upload. You can either upload or if you've already uploaded it, select your image. If you need to upload, all you do is click there, upload here, select your image. Okay, this one open it'll come out here just click save and that's it nothing to it it'll save it and then you're good to go this will come out and then your image will appear here so i'm going to click this one because this is the one i'm going to do and i'm going to leave it exactly the way it is it's 9.6 inches by 8.46 inches our cup is a little smaller than that i'm going to leave it like that because i'd rather have more than less i'd rather you know have extra whatever we whatever's extra we can just cut off but i don't want to risk not having enough to wrap the template so again i'm going to leave it like that we're going to click print super easy it's not even hard and i got this image off of etsy you know i'll link everything so it brings you to this page my printer is ready gray one you know all of that mirrored so we'll click print and it'll take a little bit for the print manager to pull up so it'll bring you to another little screen It'll say this, leave it alone, wait for the print manager screen to appear. Okay, so here's our print manager and the preview will come out on this side. We're gonna do metal. We're gonna do metal, high quality. I, I never mess with this, I, I leave it alone. So here's our paper and there's our image. So I'm gonna go ahead and print it and that's it. And then the sublimation printer will start printing. There it is, so it's printing now. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then for this one, I wanted to show you, I'll do this one um, off screen. It's the same thing. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to change it. And I'm just going to print it. That's it. But for this one, I wanted to show you guys for the wine tumbler. So let's click Start New. We're going to go ahead and go into Blank Products. And the wine tumbler that's on here to me, the size is not matching to what I have which is where is it at I think it's on four so there's a large print and then there's a small print I did the large print to me it's not big enough for the wine tumbler that I have the size I've already measured it and it's bigger than this um actually smaller than this hold on so this wine tumbler is actually bigger than the one I have because this is three point I mean I'm sorry this one is bigger than the one I have I mean smaller Jesus smaller than the one I have so that one's saying 3.75 it's just print area including bleed I don't know I mean because what I was thinking I was just gonna pick a blank canvas and just size it to what I want it and the around is 11.2 this one's actually 10 point something 
So I don't know. I mean, we can give it a try, but I guess it just depends on how you feel. I'm going to just go ahead and click. So what I was going to do is I just don't feel comfortable with this. If I click my image, I'm going to do this one. Let's just say. Size it down, but see if I size this down, it to go up. It's super small, and I wanted it kind of at least three inches. So I, my idea was, <laughs> go to blank, just click anything, and on here I was just going to upload the image I'm going to use, and then just size it down to what I fit. I wanted about three inches and the other one was giving me way too smaller for it to fit on the thing. So I'm just sizing it to what I need. So I'm going to go as close as I can to about three inches. So that's fine for me. And that's it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to print. And you can change your settings here. Well, actually it already has it. So I'm not going to change anything. All you have to do is just click print and that's it. Um, so let me go ahead and print out this one and I'll also print out this one and then that way we can start wrapping our thing. Okay you guys, so we are back and here is our little printouts for our tumblers. This one's for the wine tumblers, so I think it did pretty good as far as the size goes. Maybe it's a little too big, but I'm going to go ahead and cut around it and just to make it smaller so I can be able to place it on the mug. Hopefully it's a good size. I may have to cut it down a little more than this. Throw this out. Oh, also I wanted to show you guys that I did buy a new sublimation printer. This is a sub sublimation paper, sorry, from Amazon. So we're going to give that a try. See how that goes. So we have our little image here and I'm going to go ahead and just place it over and make sure that it fits well. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut a little bit off the top. on there looks pretty good it looks like it it's a good size I didn't want it to go over the little hump there so I think it'll fit good cut a little more because it's kind of off that's good then for our skinny tumbler I also think I did pretty good as far as the size goes. It does um, go over on both sides, so I will have to cut it down maybe just a little bit, but I'm, I'm glad I printed it out this big because that's going to help a lot. <laughs> All right, so I'm just making sure it fits good and there's no problem. So I'm just going to cut around it, cut all the white outline out and um, get it ready. So it's just slightly over. I don't know if I can leave it like that. <laughs> I don't want to cut too much off. I think I'm going to leave it like that. So let's go ahead and do the same for this one. Oh, and on the top. We need to also do the top. Let's see. So for the top, just a tiny bit. I think that's good. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I don't want to mess it up. I hope there's no ghosting of any time. But all right. So there's that one. So there's those. So let's go ahead and start 
taping these up. So for this one, let's see. So I did see somebody post that this is not straight. <laughs> I did see somebody say that they did not put like a little wrap on it. They just did it like that. So I'm debating if to do this one just like that, see how it turns out. I don't know if to try that. <laughs> I'm a little scared. So just make sure, so I'm just taping it with heat, tramp, heat resistant tape and I'm just making sure it's super snug and tight on there. I think that's, that's fine. I'm going to leave it like that. Hopefully this stays down. So there's our first one. And then for this one, oh, I didn't even wipe it with it. Oh, oh. To clean it, I forgot. All right. I have alcohol wipes here. So I'm just wiping it down with alcohol wipes. Let's get off this little sticker. Let that dry. Same here. Go. Okay, all right, so I'm going to use my microfiber cloth and then just wipe it down because it's not dry. <laughs> so, this is I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I don't know how this is going to turn on, and I didn't even do like a, a trial on these, so we're going all in together. <laughs> Hopefully they turn out good. All right, so there's those. And let's go ahead and wrap on that. I don't want to touch it, but I have to. Oh. Okay. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to start off here and I'm going to grab some tape. I just realized it won't transfer if we have tape on it. Duh. <laughs> Almost made a mistake. So let's close it up first. I believe because yeah if we put tape on there it's not gonna work what we can do just to help me out and hold it in place and then here I'm gonna put it as tight as I possibly can Just make sure you have it tight, as tight as you can. So we don't have no... I know we're going to have some ghosting because it doesn't reach all the way to the top. But that's fine. It's our first time. I hope it, it works. And it, there is a preheating um, stage. So we'll have to set it. And it has a little icon with like little wavy lines. That pretty much means it's going to, that it's preheating. So I'm trying to concentrate. On... So I'm just taping it down on the edges to make sure that it captures everything, that it sublimates everything onto the 
tumbler. Hopefully that doesn't make it super hard. So we'll put this one first because I'm kind of excited to see how this one turns out. So the next step is going to be the back. So you will need a heat a heat gun for this part. So I believe you just need two. Put your tumbler through there. And then just And then just do the heat gun. Let me grab that. So I have my heat gun here. Let me move this out the way. And let me put on the glove just in case it gets too hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my finger and my hand through there. And I believe that's it. And all we do next. Maybe it should start. Okay, that's not working. Hold on. Well, that looks kind of weird. I'm just gonna continue. Let's see how that goes. that's good enough it did start to like i don't know it looked like it wasn't going to work but there it is it started turning there i don't know i don't know we'll see so it says it says 195 for five minutes for one tumbler on here let me take this off um yeah it says one tumbler and this steel bottle, 7 to 10 minutes, sorry, for 195. Preheat 7 to 10 minutes. So this is what I'm looking at. It says preheat 7 to 10 minutes. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. 7 to 10 minutes, 195 Celsius for 5 minutes for one bottle. So yeah. So let's go ahead and go to the oven. And then that way we can put this in there. Well, we have to preheat the oven actually. So let me go and do that. So right there it should be preheating and it has little like little wavy lines showing that it's preheating. I don't know if it's getting hot. Let's see. Yeah, it's getting hot. So we're gonna go ahead and let that preheat. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take this out of the way. Let's go ahead and take off this one. I think I'm going to try this one without doing the little wrap. See how that one goes like, like the one video that I saw. So let's try to go ahead and so let me do this one. I tried to, I don't know, tried to make sure that it was flush with the cup. So I'm gonna do, stick it in there, right there. And this time I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, that's ready. We're going moving. I 
don't know if this sleeve is just too big for it. Or what? And I didn't see anyone anybody who says doing this. that's good it's not that hot okay so we're gonna do this one first okay so it's ready I'm gonna stick it in there so there it is we're gonna go ahead and let that count down I believe it should be counting down already the timer so we'll let that do its little thing and then We'll put in the other two and I'm probably going to do the other two together. See how that works. Let's see, it's still at five. I want to see if it changes to four. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to let it do its little thing and then we'll come back and put the other two in. And while the other two are doing it, we'll try to open this one. All right, so it has a little less than a minute left. So I'm just waiting for it so I can take it out with you guys and put the other ones in. I don't know if I should have turned on the hot air. I was reading the manual and it says to turn it on, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I mean, open this up. It is hot. I mean, I can already see it on there. Oh, it's very hot. So I'm going to put this down. And let's put our other ones in. So I'm going to put this one in. And again, the wine tumbler, I did not do the little shrink wrap. I'm just going to put it like that. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to set this one. Alright, so we have our other two in. I did set that one for 10 minutes since it's two. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. But let's go to the overhead camera so I can show you guys the one that I just took out. All right, so here's the one that we just took out. And you can already see the Starbucks thing on there. It's still hot. Let me. Yeah, it's still hot. I can feel it. It's pretty hot, but you can see the Starbucks, so I'm hoping it worked. <laughs> they said it just cracks off. But it's not too hard. Just be very careful because it is super hot. Okay, so far, so good. So far, good. It's a little, oh, I see it at the bottom. Yeah, that probably was a mistake to try to fold that. Yeah. You can see it at the bottom, but the top did actually pretty good. Oh, it looks so pretty. And of course, there's the line. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. You can see it somewhat right there you can kind of see the line but I did have the bottom part a little bit but it kind of goes with that like little <laughs> sparkly so it did have some ghosting which is fine it's okay this is just a trial but I think this looks so cute it came out really good wow I'm actually very surprised so we'll see how the other ones turn out there's about five minutes left on those I don't know if I should leave it the full 10 minutes because it's a small wine tumbler we'll see 
Um, okay, so yeah, I'm actually pretty happy. The bottom part, so I recommend don't do what I did. <laughs> it didn't work. So maybe just cut it a little, I don't know. The top is actually not too bad. I did go, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if this camera will zoom in. Focus. There we go. So it did good. Just that part right there. I'm okay with it though. It's gonna be my daughter's cup, so. <laughs> and there's with the top on. So you can't even really tell. Well, a little bit. <laughs> With once the top is on but how cute I like it I really do like it just the bottom part like I said um, and maybe we could just leave some space it doesn't look too bad if it, if it did have the little space I wanted it to be flush like these like this side but it's all right there's the inside how cute all right the other ones are about to be done I'm thinking if I should just pull them out there's three minutes left I guess we'll just wait so give me just a few minutes and we'll see how the one without the wrap um, turns out. Hopefully it turns out good. I did see somebody do it and they just, they said it was fine. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So that one's done. Okay. I think that's all. So let me go ahead and take this out. And I can see my kitties on there. Put that there and take the other one out. All right, so this is done. All right, so we have both of these and you can see the cats on this one. And then here's our little tumbler. So let's open this one first since it doesn't have a little thing. I'm hoping it transferred good. We'll see. We'll find out. Oh, it is hot. I can feel this one. <laughs> Let's find out. It did. How cute. I, sh I probably should have brought it down a little bit, but that looks good. Oh, I'm actually pretty happy. I, I was a little worried that it wasn't going to work with my luck. That came out really good. All right, so let's try this one now. Let's open this one up. So let's see. I can already see a little bit. It looks good. Here we go. You guys. Oh my gosh. How cute. Oh, there's the line. But it's not too bad. Right here, there was a little bit. I don't know what that is. Like, smudge. I don't know. But they came out so good. How cute. The bottom, I mean, I don't know. I think there is a little bit of ghosting. You just can't see it that much because of the different colors. I don't know, you guys. Let me see. Let me put it closer. You can't really tell. Look right there, there's blurriness, like it's smeared right there too, but probably like the ghosting parts. But you can't tell. Oh my God. Look how good that turned out. I am so happy. So again, we did the, I did two cups in there and 10 minutes for both of them. And they came out really good. And it was at 195 Celsius. So remember that Celsius, which I think is like three something. Okay, you guys, so there it is, our three mugs, our three tumblers, not mugs. Where's the top to this one? I don't know where my top went to this one. Oh, here it is. Okay, 
So here's our three little tumblers, which I'm very happy with. I'm, I'm actually very surprised at how it came out. I think I was more worried for nothing because they turned out really good. I'm really happy with the results. Turn that one around since it has different ones in it. It is really good. It looks really good. There's our Starbucks cup. And I will link uh, these little... I will link these uh, files. But there's our Starbucks cup. It came out so good. Oh, I like how how shiny it looks and how bright. That paper is really good. I don't know. We should have tried one with the old paper, see how that turned out. But the paper is really good. And then here's our little wine tumbler. It says age gets better with wine. I think this is cute. But I will link the files, these files that I got on the description below. But that's it, you guys. Here's our three little tumblers. I didn't do the mug because, I mean, I have a mug press, so I don't know. I mean, I may try a mug soon. I'll do a video if you guys want me to, to do it with the mug. But obviously, if you get the oven, it's so much better if you're doing multiple mugs, even if you're doing multiple um, tumblers. I, I honestly would just wouldn't do more than like, I don't know. I, just, I felt comfortable with two. I didn't want to do more than that, but I'm pretty sure you could do maybe four. I wouldn't put... A lot in there but I think I mean it'll save time especially if you've got if you do this and you've got like a big order for a few mugs or tumblers that this would help you out a lot so I'm very happy with the oven so far no complaints um, the only thing is I wish it did the beeping sound is kind of loud there wasn't no smell that I can tell and let me see. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I other than that, it does preheat. Like I said, I was reading the manual, so it does preheat. So you have to preheat it for about 7 to 10 minutes. But it'll tell you on there, and it'll beep once it's ready. So you can put your your um, so you can put your mugs or tumblers in there once it's ready. But that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, post them down in the comments below. Or if you guys want me to try something else in the oven, let me know. I do plan on doing more. I, I probably will do the mug one just to kind of see how that one works. But obviously we saw it work, did well on the wine tumbler without needing that shrink wrap thing. Because I didn't have one for this size. Um, this Only the, the skinny tumblers came with it. But yeah, I think that's it. Overall, I'm very happy with the results. And can't wait to do more. All right, well, that's it for this video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And... It was helpful to you if you guys do decide to give it a try let me know what you think how yours turned out um i would love to hear what you guys you know how your projects went you can do this on a regular little oven it doesn't have to be a sublimation oven but if you guys have any questions or want me to try something else in the oven let me know i probably will do one with the mug so i don't know we'll see all right you guys that's it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos and please share. Thanks. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.